Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. For you guys, another episode of our Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let's play. I hope you guys are excited. Show some love. Hit that like button down below if you guys are enjoying the series. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Big shout out to all the A Drive Army Plus members who have been throwing down, getting early access. And of course, last thing, if you guys don't know, you go to adrivelive.com, make an account for free, have a chance to win a Nintendo Switch. Plus, members have a higher chance to win. I'm giving away three Switches, three copies of Arceus, all bundled together. If you missed the last one, ladies and gentlemen, Cleaver's taking a nap, I guess. Redemption's taking a little nap. If you missed the last one, we quelled the lady Pokemon, of course, which was very epic. Now I've got to go head over to my man Kamado, let him know what's good, and then we're going to continue our journey. I guess, I guess I'll talk to this guy for a quest as well. Oh yes, I am the guy. Your sister Wanda's in the wire. Oh, she never, she never, uh, she, she, she's lost. I picked up Wanda Send with Ursaluna. I gotta say, I like the quest because... It feels like they're more than just like go catch this Pokemon, which is what I thought it was gonna be, right? Like I was nervous that this game was gonna be quests that were like go get this Pokemon and that's it. And there are some of those, but there's also a lot more variation. Like you catch up, you know, Ursaluna Scent to go get this thing and whatever else. So I've been enjoying a lot. So you successfully calm Lilligan. I did indeed. Excellent. There may be times when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it's all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves. Uh, free from war and strife. A stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time. Then frenzies are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls that very same rift. We have no connections to the lightning, isn't that right? We may to need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond impugning. I don't know that word, but I'll go for it. All right, what's next, Kamado? Something's gonna happen now, so we can propel the story. Oh, we're gonna have dinner. There you go, pipe and hot potato mochi, fresh from the stove. All right, let's have a little uh, little mochi. This is a life, enjoying tasty potato mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings from our research, and topping it off with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for more? I don't disagree, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere with our research or with carving out a life here? Ah, oh, well, here's a flashy new recipe for you to try. It's for an item that should help scatter these gloomy thoughts. Scatter bangs. A pop pod and a caster fern leaf. I don't know what those do. Scatter bangs? Does it scatter away Pokemon that want to attack you? Maybe that's what it does. The next day. And my new kimono looking all fancy, decked out for my bugs. You already know it. Got some sweet sandals on. Oh, a Rezu's back. And our friend. You'll never guess what, I'm gonna start working at the hairdresser shop. Now you'll be able to try my own original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? I'm still gonna be Lilligan's warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends, but I can make it work, don't you worry. Very nice. Anyway, come on over to the hairdressers when you can. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. I'm pleased that you found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. Mr. Kamado, uh, sorry about that whole Ursa Luna situation. If you're here to work in Jubilee, you are family to us, no matter where you are from. Welcome, Arezu. And you, A-Drive, you will come with me to Prelude Beach. That's where we started, I think. Oh, I wonder if I get Basque Legion now. Or I'm gonna take a boat to the next location with the merchants. These people have arrived here in Asui. They will live together with us in Jubilee Village. We are of the galaxy team first arrived in this land. We came ashore on Prelude Beach. It is where everything began. This is where new life will for you all to begin as well. We've heard of the Hisui region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. We've also heard the galaxy team knows a great deal of Pokemon and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilee Village grow. Indeed, you have both heard correctly. And the reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to Adrev here, one of our Survey Corps recruits. Through the combined efforts of our team members, let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in the Hisui region. We look forward to doing our part, Commander. That's kind of cool. So people coming in from different regions to help build this settlement, which is like, I mean, how it happened at some point in our history too. The advancements of our understanding of Pokemon, thanks to the Survey Corps, has expanded the areas where we can operate safely. This is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. A drive, you truly do love Pokemon, don't you? I do. 
Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy team, and yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose that's a necessary quality for one in the Survey Corps. Remember this though, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It is imperative that we study them and learn all we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. And be warned, as the leader of the Galaxy team, I am prepared to make harsh decision in order to protect Jubilee Village. Commander, a reader from the Pearl Clans arrived. Good, I believe I know what she's here about. As for you, A-Drive, you should see for yourself how Jubilee Village is changing thanks to the Survey Corps effort. Then you will come to my office. I wonder what's going on here at Prelude Beach. Can I find anything? I guess not. Oh, another wisp though. What a tail. The Pokemon it belonged to must have been a wee little thing. It was hiding some rocks when I found it. But its tail, I'd give anything to see it again. Think you catch the Pokemon I'm talking about? Its tail was elegant and swirly like a spring. That tells me spoink? I don't know what that is. Ah, can I lend you a Pokemon that knows a water type move? I guess I could do that. I've gotta have a, I've gotta have like a Psyduck or something. Yeah, I'll give you a Psyduck. You can have this one here. Yeah, you can have this Psyduck. I'll be all right without it. And I'm all done. Yo, I actually really think this is sick how it expands like this. And then you get more crops and things of that nature. What's going on, Kamado? What's the rundown this time, buddy? I commend you on your success research in Pokemon in the Cri Crimson Mirelands. Your next are to begin the order survey of the Cobalt Coastlands. I will let you know in advance, there are no nobles in the Cobalt Coastlands. Allow me to explain. We did have a Lord in the Coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. Now we've had reports of people seeing strange shadowy figures on the island that your Lord used to call his own. We've also received word from both the Security Corps and the Supply Corps. It seems some of their members were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials around Firespit Island. Those are some serious concerns and moreover, my clan just can't tolerate this des desecration of our late Lord's seat. Normally I entrust this to our warden, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. So we are headed to the Lordless Island. I'll meet you at Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. And I know this must be wild bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm sorry, A-Drive. There's nothing of it. A-Drive is talented and a hardworking member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure he'll sort things out. A-Drive quelled the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both his strength and kindness firsthand. The next area for you to investigate is the Cobalt Coastlands. It's farther afield than the Crimson Mirelands. The path is long and trying. With your current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. You know you're missing. Investigate Firespit Islands. All right, let's hit it. I got a new haircut going on as well, why not? Slightly different, a little less messy, a little bit more, uh, you know, clean. Clean look from a Reizu. Ah, if it is an A-Drive. Leon, what are you doing here? I suppose I'd expect that I'd run into you in the village. Where are you gonna study Pokemon next? Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands. Polina's certainly in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden and she's got no noble to see to. There are even people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Oh, forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. A piece of advice then, as an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones which hold mysterious powers. With the right stone, you could even evolve some Pokemon. You'll look no further than Cleaver for proof of that. What I'm trying to say is this. If you and the Survey Corps want to learn all there is about Pokemon in this region, then the stones you find throughout Hisui will be very important. There's even a tale of a stone that contains the power of creation. The very same power Almighty Sinnoh used to create the universe. I trust you take my advice to heart and, and not underestimate how uh, important stones are. To help this grind this fact into you, I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I found. Two grit pebbles and sack of grit gravel. Very nice. So I actually just used a few of those, uh, these guys right here. So I can do this, oh, hold on. This is, oh, if they're at least six. And then this one is for five. So I can get him up to five. And then I can get his attack up to that. And then I can go to Pyre and get his special attack up to four. And then I can use a, this one on you and get your attack even higher. And I'll get your attack even higher. Perfect. All right, out into the wild. And we're going to the beachside camp, a new location, baby. Very cool. And this is uh, one of the spots that we've seen a lot in the trailers, which is pretty dope.
And my jaw just dropped. The Cobalt Coastlands is simply lovely corner of Hisui. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kind of Pokemon await us here? I wonder, water types or flying types perhaps? I simply can't wait to study them all. I'm not sure as you're excited as I am to research this area, but let's not forget you've got a mission to accomplish. Any questions? About Fire Spit Island. Hmm, it's an offshore volcano. You'll need to cross the sea to reach it. I'd advise you to speak to a fellow called Iskan. He's one of the Diamond Clan's wardens and he'll surely help you find your way. She's using her flute, who's she summoning? This is a different song than we've heard too. I do love the flute. It feels as if its tones carry to the very ends of space. But I'm here and so are you, so I'm gonna focus everything I have on battling you. Okay! Very good, you seem to have the vast space beyond the rift. Here I come. All right, I guess I'm battling. I didn't expect it. But you've got a Glaceon and I've got a Redemption. Ready to crush you with some stones, baby. And there's, oh, there's an Eevee too. Why are you double battling me? I'm gonna just stone X. Get wrecked! Beautiful. Can I catch this Eevee though? Why do you have an Eevee too? Can I can I catch it? Oh, it looks like I can. Oh, I have to win the battle. Just kidding. I was excited. I was like, maybe, just maybe I can catch the Eevee. But unfortunately, poor Eevee is getting crushed. And Jagged Splinter's digging. Oh, yo, so it's like Stealth Rock where it has the, the secondary effect. I wonder if it always has that effect. Battle decided, I just wrecked you. Get wrecked. Now I feel better, the world is vast and I am small within it. Thank you, allow me to heal your Pokemon. All right, with you, I think I can be frank. I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader of your or your commander, but in truth, I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Polina. But she's no she tends no lord or lady, and she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lena, that is to say, Polina, she's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another, and she taught me a great deal too. Having all that said, I have a favor to ask of you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into the true heir to its father, the late Lord. With your help of your strength, I think your Lord's heir would help you grow to worthy a successor. And if it succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. I know of anyone I trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleaver's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up on the headland. Head down the hill and turn left and you should find a slope leading up to the ridge. I'm excited, we got all sorts of new Pokemon to find, all sorts of good stuff. Oh, there's the Glamiaus. I was told these things are gonna be very hard to catch. And I don't have the right items for it, but I'll try it. Maybe I just catch it like that. Nailed it! Look at me go. Oh, thanks for the feather balls. There's a Sfeel! Gotta catch the Sfeel. Oh. Uh. Don't see me, Sfeel. Got him. Nice. Oh, Scorpies, too. And Drapion over there, too. Oh, that did not go nearly as far as I needed it to. Got him. All right, we caught a Scorpie as well. Catching all the things right now. What is this? This is a new item. Oh, Pop Pods! I actually needed those for a quest, so that's perfect. Found an Apom. Will you stay in the ball, Apom? You will! Hey! There's an Ambipom. Try to sneak up on him, see if I can catch him. Ah, he's gonna run away. Maybe I can throw a mud ball at him? Oh, he's he knows I'm here now. I guess I'll battle you. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, let's battle Ambibomb you wanna throw down. Level 39. And he's gonna mud bomb me, which does a lot. Became obscured, oh geez. All right, let's go for Stone Axe. See how much that does. Solid. 
And I get the Jagged Splinters. I am curious how often the Jagged Splinters do happen. And we're going to hit him an extra turn with the Jagged Splinters. And then I'm going to try to get him in a Great Ball. See how that goes. I just caught a bunch of Apoms. So let's see how this goes. Got him! Ambipom secured, baby. Oh, I found an old verse. How about that? Old verse number three. No claws nor fangs, no strength to claim, no man could hope to hold his own to mighty Pokemon. But bolts of light rained down one day, ten times they fell, ten times they struck true upon ten Pokemon. Then to weak man did these ten turn, the strength is be, all were blessed by loyal Pokemon. Were these bolts not a gift to man? Were they not your almighty grace, great Sinnoh? I feel like this is telling us the story of what's going on, man, which is kind of crazy. Oh, look at that, I'm a choke. Haven't seen one of those yet. That means Machop's gotta be nearby. There they are. I want the Machop. I don't care much for the Machoke. Come on, stay in the ball, buddy. Got him. Ooh, an Octillery. Look at that. I gotta try to sneak up on him. Yeah, that didn't work. That didn't work. Oh, he's he's a he's an alpha. I didn't realize that. Yeah, we, we're gonna just run away, I think. See you later. A Mothum! I gotta fight him, right? Dude, we found a Mothum! Level 32, all right. Um, right. I'm gonna go for Egg Scissor. It shouldn't knock him out because it's resisted. That did about half, cool. He's gonna air slash me, which is gonna hurt. And he actually just straight up knocks me out. That's fun. All right, let's go Pyre. I definitely want to catch this thing, so let's get it. Uh, I'm gonna use Quick Attack. I don't think I'm gonna use him, but I definitely want to like catch him for the decks, you know? And he's gonna Confusion me, which we should be fine. And then I'll throw a Great Ball and see if we can catch him. Let's do it. Let's get him. Stay in the ball, buddy. My man Moth, I'm getting a little bit of love in this game. How about that? Oh, when he breaks out, because why wouldn't he? You really couldn't have just stayed in there for me, buddy? All right, let's try it again. Oh, you could just do that. I didn't even realize you could just switch to, to the balls right there. Oh, that's sick. You could just press the trigger button instead of going into your inventory. Here I am, like 10 hours in, and I just figured that out. Cool. Caught them off them. Let's get it. Take another dex page filled. And our friend Gasly can evolve, which gives us another dex page. I gotta say, like, I really like this game and, and the models and everything, but Gasly's model is not the best. <laughs> that is something that I will say. Its model is definitely not the best, but that's okay. He's trying his best. There's a bunch of Mothams. Uh, I'm probably just gonna fight and just get some XP real quick. Hey, a Worm Adam popped up. Look at that. That's cool. I guess I'll try to catch him. Um... It's bug, I don't think this KOs. It's steel type, this is a steel one, so this shouldn't knock it out. Yeah, and the Jagged Splinters activate, which is really good. And then I should be able to catch him with a Great Ball, and then I actually finish this line in terms of my Pokedex without having to evolve them, which is nice. Sweet, I get both a Mothum and a Wormadum right here. This is cool, dude. Oh, it's so sick to see these Pokemon. Like, normally in games you would never see these types of Pokemon just like floating around, you know? That's great. And I found another black auger right here, so I could get another cleaver. Very dope. Yo, I just got the notification that someone in our team can evolve, and it is Pyre's time to finally make it happen. Now, when I started this journey, I decided to go with Typhlosion because I really felt like, even though I wasn't feeling its sprite form, it was really, really epic. And if I can shiny hunt the starters, I wanted the shiny hunt for Samurai anyway. And here it is, Fire and Ghost Typhlosion. Pyre has evolved and has arrived. And I'm gonna check out his new moves. We get Hex now as an option and we get Flamethrower. So Flamethrower first and foremost and then Hex of course over probably Aerial Ace. And I think that that's a good spot for us to start. Fire and Ghost dude, very epic. And if you look at him in battle, yeah, without him having his flames up, he definitely leaves a bit to be desired. But in battle, my dude looks epic. And there are some Vulpixes, which I wanted to try to grab. So let me see if I can sneak up on one of these Vulpix. That'll probably get it for me. 
Maybe I could snag a Murkrow here while I'm at it. Oh, he broke out. Are you really gonna be that pesky there, buddy? There we go, we got the Vulpix, nice. And this Murkrow can't see me, so I'll take that as well. And that one too, I might as well get him. I feel like we gotta see my man in battle here. Hopefully that Perugly does not intervene because I get wrecked if it does. There's the flames we were looking for, right? Way better, way better with those flames. Look at him, that's what we're looking at right there. He looks really dope. I'll give it to him. Oh my God, there's three Pokemon fighting me right now. Look at that, three of them. And then it starts raining, so now my fire moves don't do as much, which is just super fun. But we four times resist that, so that's actually okay. And Silverwind, yeah, we four times resist. So we're chilling. I'm gonna hit him with another flamethrower. Let's see if it knocks him out in rain. It does still. That's crazy how the rain just kicks up right as I'm fighting too. And he iron defenses, but we'll beat him easily. That's so crazy, man, how wild Pokemon can just jump in and give you like crazy fights. It really adds another level. But iron defense boosts both of his defenses apparently because I did not do that much to him. But I'll beat him here on the next flamethrower, so we're chilling. What a beast, dude. I love it. Get it, baby. Oh, Hisuian Growlithe and Arcanine. Oh, but the Arcanine passed away. It makes sense now. It makes sense. Hisuian Growlithe. Hush now, settle down. I'm Polina of the Pearl Clan, and who might you be? Ah, you're the child from the Galaxy Team. I've heard how you aided Cleaver and Lilligant when none other could quell their frenzy. Your strength must be amazing, and yet you have such a gentle face. So what brings you to the Cobalt Coastlands? We have no lord here, much less a frenzied one for you to quell. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. He was rescuing his young pup that had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life to ensure the pup's safe return. If you were to guess, which one of these growls would you say is the previous lord's child? I'll say the big one. That's what everyone says at first, but no. The quiet, skittish growl is the child of the previous lord. I doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars in his heart. There are those who expect me to train him more strictly and force leadership upon him before he is ready, but I can never bring myself to do that. No matter what the rest of the Pearl Clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one's side and let him live his life as he wishes. So now you know our situation, might I ask your purpose and come into the coastlands? I make for Firespit Island. A survey of Firespit Island, I see. There are rumors the place is haunted by strange shadows these days. You'll need to aid the Pokemon known as Basque Legion if you wish to cross the sea. You should speak to Iskan, a warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. There is definitely something strange out on Firespit Island. Those shadowy figures are concerning, of course. But then there's also the odd lightning that came from the rift in the sky. Lightning is a sign that the heavens are angry. I worry that we may have offended Almighty Sinnoh somehow. In the past, the Pearl and Diamond Clan were locked in conflict over which side revered the true Almighty Sinnoh. Even if we reached an uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sinnoh must be angered because there are still those who worship a false image of it. But I digress, I do apologize. Iskan lives on Apom Hill, just past Ginkgo Landing. I imagine you'll find him there. Oh, I actually went to his house earlier, but it was locked. All right, let's get it. I wonder if I can catch this Staraptor. I'm gonna give it a try. I've had no luck with these Feather Balls, but maybe when he flies a little closer. Oh, I hit him, but it didn't do anything. Wait, what? I thought that was the whole point of Feather Balls. I don't know, man. Ah, Volo. Why there, Mr. Adrive? Fancy running you out here. I'm on the hunt for some plates. How's your plate hunt going? So-so, I guess. No need to be humble, I see you've already got your hands on four plates. You gain plates when you quell frenzied nobles and when a great Pokemon recognizes you of worthy of bearing, isn't that right? The way you've been collecting those plates, it reminds me of the ancient hero, the one that's said to have battled against Almighty Sinnoh. You know, I've been wondering, the 10 Pokemon that are said to follow the ancient hero, their powers are supposed to come from Almighty Sinnoh itself. Why would they seek to challenge Almighty Sinnoh along with the hero then? Perhaps we'll get some answers once we gather all the plates. Well then, let's both do our best to find more, but please don't overexert yourself. I hate for something to happen to one of our guild's loyal customers. I don't know if I fully trust that guy, I'm gonna be honest with you. 
feel like he kind of seems a little sketchy at times. Do I have a visitor? I'll be right out. Give me a moment. Um, I'm Iskan of the Diamond Clan, a Galaxy team member with a Celestica flute. You must be A-Drive. Have I done something to warrant your visits? Yes. Well, sudden visits give me quite a shock. I do hope you'll give me advance notice in the future. Why are you here? I need Basque Legion's aid. Ah, you want to go to Fire Spit Island? If you insist, then you probably need Basket Legion's favorite snack. That should help him warm up to you. But preparing his favorite, uh, it's a little bit more difficult. More like impossibly high hurdle or just impossible, if I'm being honest. How so? I'll tell you, I have the right materials, but... You see, the next part is something I can never manage, but you need to catch this one Pokemon that appears at night. Which Pokemon? You really want to know? You really don't value your own life, do you? It's the the dust clops. Even saying its name fills me with dread. So the materials for the food have to be imbued with the flavor by dust clops' dark pulse. That's the only way you can make Basket Legion's favorite food, you see. Got it. Wow, is everyone in the galaxy team like you? Your nerves aren't just steel, they're titanium. It's positively frightening how fearless you are. D dusk, ah, oh, I can't say it. Well, the Pokemon I need has only one eye and it can be found wandering around Deadwood Haunt. Deadwood Haunt is an area that looks like a hand on your map. You'll know when you're there, when you find the wrecked boats. I try to avoid those one-eyed Pokemon and so I know a lot about them, you see. Would you like to wait here until night when that Pokemon appears? Yeah, I'll wait. Well then. So do I have to catch one? I like Dusclops, he's a cool Pokemon. Did you bring it? You know, the Pokemon that sounds like Dusclops? I guess I gotta go find him. Okay, excuse me, have you heard of a fellow from the construction corps named Yorich? No, I haven't. Ah, where could he have gone? Would you mind helping me track him down? I'll be waiting a little further ahead. Please come see me when you have a moment. Okay, so we definitely need to do that as well because we can set up a new camp. And there's the ghost types, Dusclops right away. And, or I'm sorry, Drift Bloom right away. So we gotta look for Dusclops now. I found the wrecked ship, so we're gonna sneak up here and hopefully not get destroyed by the dust docks that's trying to attack me right now. Oh, I found the Dusclops. Let's see if this works. I just threw a ball at him. That did not work. Attempt number two. Okay, he is not wanting to be caught. I may have to battle him, to be honest. I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna go around the back end here and see if I can sneak up on him. All right, looks like I'm just gonna battle him. Let's get it. You wanna throw down, bro? Fine. You're gonna throw your shadow balls at me? Fine. He's level 40. Jeez. Okay. Let's go for Stone Axe. He may knock me out here, but I should be able to do a good amount of damage and start to chip away with those splinters. He's gonna Dark Pulse. That's what we were looking for. He does just straight knock me out, of course. Um, and the Jagged Splinters do still dig in. I'm gonna go into Ursaring. Which, by the way, I'm pretty sure we need a full moon to evolve Ursaring, which is why, like, I haven't officially added it to the team. But if I can figure out how to evolve it, then I will. I, I think it'll be our third member. I've kind of been adding things slowly. Let's see what we got here. He does not want to stay in the Pokeball. Okay. And he's going to Hex, but uh, he probably can't touch me, which is why Ursaring's really good here. And it started raining as well. Let's see if this Great Ball works now. Come on, stay in the ball, buddy. I just need to catch one. Give me a Dusclops. Got him, there we go. Now we can use Dusclops in his Dark Pulse. Very nice. I just caught a Remoraid. I think this is the first time I ever caught a Pokemon in the water, to be honest. I really like haven't even seen Pokemon in the water, so I never really had the chance. And I've got an option to evolve Curly as well, so we'll get a Gardevoir knocked off our list. Still can't get over the evolution screen. It looks so good, it really does. And another Wisp. Ooh, a Chadot. That's new. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight him. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Oh, no, don't leave, don't leave, please don't leave, please don't leave. I caught him unaware, that's actually big. Actually big, okay. Uh, I am going to X Scissor because it's resisted. And then hopefully, oh, that's like right on the cusp of like 
too much damage. Um, I'm gonna throw a grape. Oh, no, wrong button. I'm gonna throw a grape ball at him. I really would like to catch a chat on just to like get this dude caught, you know? Chilling by the pirate ship. Got him. Let's go. Another next page. Love it. Must be a time of day thing because there's a bunch of them. Here, I thought this thing was gonna be super rare. All right, bro. I found your dust clops that you wanted. Yes. Yes, I did. I found him. There he is, all the way down yonder. Here he is. You really brought it. No, 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 don't bring it out. Don't, don't bring it out. Right, I guess I've got to do my part seeing how determined you are to go to that island with Basque Legion. I ask, uh, ask Polina if the growl that she takes care of can help me with this bit, but this time you need to help since, well, we're making the snack, you'll be accepted by Basque Legion. Once I get the signal, you'll have that dust bops of yours use its dar dark pulse. Okay, here we go. Three, two. Ah, it's too frightening, it's too frightening. Come on, try again. Uh, so counting down just makes the anticipation and terror worse. Let's simply have you do it when I say go. Go. That's kind of cool. A delicious aroma wafts through the air. Basque Legion's favorite snack is now ready. And I got the ball of Basque Legion food. A favorite food of Basque Legion. A Pokemon that will bear you on its back. Both the aroma and shape are perfect. It's the perfect ball of Basque Legion food. Let us make for the Ginkgo Landing. We can summon Basque Legion there. And I set up a little quest here. I went back and did this little quest so I can get a little base camp here. Cause it's always nice to have these chilling around. Oh, Laventon's here. We cash it with Laventon, get 11K, and this should get us a new star, I gotta think. I gotta think it's gonna give us a new star, let's see. Cleaver's finished up, which is good. And we're making progress on a bunch of stuff. Burmy's done. We're getting there. And yeah, we definitely get to the next star. So I do get a new star if I wanted with Captain Silene. So I'm definitely gonna have to do that at some point. In fact, I might wanna go do that real quick. Let's actually go do that. Ah, you made progress. You've earned yourself a star. And now we are four stars in. And we've done a lot of catching, so you really have to uh, do a lot to keep going. You've gotten the fourth star, and now you can use lead-in balls. Level 50 will listen to you, and here's some recipes. I don't know what lead-in balls are for, but it's Apricorn, Black Tumblestone, and Iron Chunk. And we get some Hyper Potions as well. Cool. Oh, there's a mass outbreak of Remorade. Okay, this is actually something I was looking for. I wanted to find out about this mass outbreak because I heard that this could be a shoddy hunting method for the game. So this is stuff that's like happening right now. So let me actually see if I can go here because that's where the, the outbreak was, I'm pretty sure. And hopefully I can see if there's this outbreak of Remorade. Okay, so I actually can't even do this outbreak right now because it's in the water. I, I misunderstood where it was. So what I'm gonna do now is hope that the mass outbreak is still there later. I gotta go get Basque Legion first. All right, I'm here, Iskon. I was just waiting for you. Hello, Iskon. Oh, Polina's here with her two little growlies. Polina, I thought you said we shouldn't be seen together. I'm sure a drive can keep a secret. Besides, both I and Growlithe Puffs are eager to meet the great Basque Legion again. I see, well in that case, let me summon Basque Legion. I love just the jaw drop. And here it is, Basque Legion. Go on, A Drive. You can give the food to Basque Legion now. You threw the ball of food at Basque Legion. Oh, the great Basque Legion. Thank goodness. I was a little worried about whether Basque Legion would accept this flavor. So you should let Basque Legion hear you're playing.
Basic Legion, open its heart and learn well the sound of your playing. You received the splash plate from Basket Legion. That's our fifth plate. Now you can ride Basket Legion across Tranquility Cove and head to Fire Spit Island. My congratulations to you, A Drive. Helena, do you want to tell him? I mentioned to you before how the previous Lord rescued his Growlithe pup. During that incident, Iskon and Basket Legion saved my life as well. Since then, I've had a great deal of affection for Iskon here. I truly adore him, but I know that there are those who will speak ill of me behind my back. So I try to meet with Iskon where there are no prying eyes to preserve his reputation. Well, I was just doing what any decent person would do when I saved you. But perhaps, but nonetheless, after that day, I found the strength to accept Growlithe as he is and not force him to become the next Lord. And it was all thanks to the courage you showed me, Iskon. Perhaps we should save this discussion for another time after all. So those two are together, all right? And I've got something very important. Ah, oh, here we go. I got things to do. I want to see what's up with these remorades. I'm your unlucky charm. Thought you sported the four leaf clover. I'm the middle one and coin is here as well. And these guys just showed up out of nowhere. The misfortune sisters. Hand over that Growlithe. If you aim to pester us with bad jokes, those ridiculous introduction of yours were more than enough. Exactly what she said. Now, Gengar! Wait, what? She has a Gengar? And the Growlithe is gone. So that's a thing. Uh, thanks to the Growlithe fools, we three can't live in kind of groups because of narrow-minded groups like the Diamond and Pearl Clan. If we want to live freely in the great land of Isui, we need to have powerful Pokemon on our side. Don't worry, we'll make sure this pup grows up nice and strong. We'll even make him a lord for you. Let's take this mutt to our camp and get to work. No one will bother us in a place so miserably hot. Ah, the shadowy creatures in Fire Spit Island. Gengar and this little uh, fortune trio. Misfortune trio, I should say. No, Growlithe! Well, I know where I have to go. What should we do, Adra? This is an emergency, right? But you see, I've never had my partner battle before. Please, Adra, I beg your help. My Growlithe is very dear to us. Please save him. They were going to a place no one would bother him. Fire Spit Island. Now that you have Basque Legion help you cross the water, you can reach that island too. Yeah, I'm gonna go there, don't worry. I'll get there. I got you. I'll see you at Fire Spit Island. Yeah, Growlithe needs your help. Uh, yeah, you don't wanna go? I, I got this, guys. Don't even stress it. You can throw items from Basilean's back, and yeah, we're good to go. Don't even stress it, man. You can now call Basket Legion to ride across water on his back. Press the button to summon Basket Legion, and you can throw things in the air, which is those action shots we saw. Okay, so again, I have something very important I need to take, take care of, which is to come over here, because again, as of right now of me filming this, the rumors are that this is a Shawnee hunting method. So I'm gonna go see if I can make this happen. Basket Legion! Okay. Let's go find out. And here's all the remorades. This is the mass outbreak that was reported. Okay, so I'm just gonna start battling them then. And I think, uh, probably not the best with this guy here, but let's just start, I'm gonna start battling him and maybe I'll get lucky, you never know. And while I'm training, I'm evolving other Pokemon as well, so we'll get a Grottle here too. All right, I think unfortunately the mass outbreak did come to an end. And that's the end of this one. No luck on the Shawnees, but I'm gonna keep trying and hopefully find some more luck another time. Yeah, that's so epic that you just jump up and like do your thing, that's so cool. Okay, another mass outbreak, this time of Pseudo Wudo, so we can test it again. And there's the mass outbreak of Pseudo Wudo. I guess I'm gonna try to fight him. I don't know how well this is gonna go. They're running away. And that one's gone as well. So unfortunately, no luck there. All right, so I figured out how to trigger the outbreaks, which is cool. You guys are getting to see me figure out the shiny hunting method in real time. Um, now I have a Buizel outbreak that we're gonna go check, which is over here in Horseshoe Plains. So I'll flag that and we'll head over there and see if by chance, we will be able to find a shiny Buizel. This is my third outbreak, but I figured out how to get him to spawn. So that's a good starting point. Let's find out if there's any shinies here. Okay, in the meantime, I just found an Eevee and I would really like to catch this Eevee. 
So let me switch to a better Pokeball. I have Ultra Balls. I didn't even know I had those. Let's see if I can catch this thing. This is the one I failed in episode one or two. Got him, let's go. All right, no luck on that one. Now this is a scary sight, dude. Four Ambipoms. I'm testing out this uh, mechanic still. And just randomly, we've got four Ambipoms all just chilling here. And I'm probably not gonna be able to beat them all at once, to be honest. They're really high level. All right, I've been filming this episode for a really long time, and I think I'm gonna wrap up here before I head over to Fire Spit Island on the next one. So show some love, hit that like button down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Still got some more tests to do on this mass outbreak thing, but I will do that for the next episode as well. So thank you guys again for hanging out with me. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of our Pokemon Legends Arceus Let's Play. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.